understand. Okay. So now tell me that you remember the concept of trading and profit and loss account. I told you that in single entry system we need that information. Creating the formulas. No, the format. Yes, sir. So you remember the format. Yes, sir. First of all, you need to understand how to prepare data subject. Now, data is an asset. Yes? Yes. So, if there is any opening balance, it will be written in the debit side. To balance BD. And the closing balance is written here by balance CD. Now, uh, between these two balance, there is many items. Like if you receive cash from data, it will be by cash. If you give discount to data, then it will be by discount account. If any data become insolvent, then you will write patent save. Okay. Okay. Sir. So by cash, by discount, by bad dates. Um, by sales return if there is in the debit side it will be always credit sale so two sales okay If there is dishonor of check, bank account, or Okay, so this is your data account format. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, so this is the format of data account. You have to prepare this. Now in this format, you can see that if actually all the items are generally given, only one item is missing. So one item can be opening balance. The other item can be sales or the next item can be the closing balance. So any of these three information will be calculated from data. In most of the cases, it will be credit sale that you will call calculate by preparing data account. Okay. Okay. So how will the question, how will they ask question? How will they ask the question? Okay, I will share the question, then you'll understand. Please copy this. I'm sharing the question until then. Okay.
bin ich das. Can you see this question? No, sir. No? Yes, sir. Okay. So read the question first. Sorry. I have to read it out loud. Is this? Yes. This one. Please read this. I have to read it loudly, sir. Yes. Okay. Surya does not keep a systematic record of his transaction. He is able to give you the following information regarding his assets and liability. And credits for goods. Our credits for goods, 31st March 2018, 21,000. 31st March 2019, 19,000. Creditors for expense, 20,028, 1,500. 2019, 1,800. Bills payable, 8,700. 2019, 11,500. Sundry Plus 2018 35,000. Leave the amount. And read all huh? other things. Leave the amount and read all other things. Okay. Bad debts during the year were rupees 900. As regards sales, Surya tells you that he always sells good goods at cost less 25%. Furnitures and fitting are to be depreciated at 10% of the value of the beginning year. Prepare Surya's trading and profit or loss account for the year ended 31st March 2019 and his balance sheet on that date. Okay. Now, in this question, there is no credited sale, credit purchase given. Yes? Yes, sir. So in this quotient, we have to calculate this. Now, if you see creditors, opening and closing is given. Opening this and closing. Opening, this is your closing. It is 31st March 2018. It is 31st March 2019. Okay, sir. Okay. So by using these information, we will prepare creditors account and then we will calculate credit purchase. Again, there is Sunday debtors account we have to prepare. There is payable account we will prepare and uh, cash account we will prepare. Bills payable information here given will be used inside these accounts, creditors account, debtors account. We will prepare every account that will give us some information for a uh, trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet okay okay sir. not clear no sir. okay uh i have just prepared the debtors account here yes yes sir. and you have written the information one more information will be there or oh, actually i missed that it is by 
this receivable and here on the debit side it is bill dishonor okay So add this in your format and then see the portion and find the information given in this data set. Okay. This is cash, means cash received from daters. This is bills receivable, means bills receivable received from daters. So all these information are related with daters, okay? Yes. Okay, now see this portion here and find all the information given in the form. Only the first question.
Yes, Rudit. Yes, sir. So. Yeah, okay. okay. Yes. What is your confusion? What am I supposed to find first? Uh, this format you are seeing. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in this format, there are different information like opening balance of data, closing balance of data, sales, that is credit sale, not cash sale, credit sale, bill dishonored, uh, cash received from daters, discount uh, given to daters, bad dates, sales return, bills receivable, received from daters. So these information you have to find in here. Okay. Uh, First of all, opening and closing data is given here. You can see? Yes, sir. And uh, after that, uh, there is bills information also. Cash sale is given, but we cannot use cash sale. We uh, generally please use credit sale. And it is not given in question. We have to find out the right sale. Okay. 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 Payment to sundry caterers. This is different expenses paid drawing. Bad dates is given here. Yes. Sir. Okay. And as regards sales, so we are tells you that you always sell goods at cost plus 25%. Uh, so after finding out sales, you can easily find out the purchase because cost is given here. Okay. You can calculate the purchase by this information. You remember the formula of cost of goods sold? Yes, sir. Cost of goods sold. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you tell me? Opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. That's good. Good. So this formula we will use here and then calculate the purchase for it. So this is data's account. Now I will prepare the creditor's account. Okay. Okay. So uh, same as this format. I have prepared here creditors account also. Creditors account. This is particular amount. Oh, actually, I have written already. By balance BD. In creditors account, it is a liability. So the opening balance will be on the credit side. You will write credit purchase here. And you will write by bill, bills payable dishonored. Dishonored will be in bracket. So these things will be on the credit side, on the debit side. First, cash paid to creditors. Then to Purchase return to discount received. Discount allowed is written in data's account, discount received here. And to bills payable issued. Bills payable issued. After writing all these, you will calculate balance. You'll write total and calculate balance. Generally, these three information, can be calculated with the help of creditors account. One, this, closing balance, opening balance, and credit purchase. Three, uh, these three information can be calculated through the data account.
ओके Finish. Good. Now I'm solving this uh, creditors account. I'm preparing creditors account from this information. Now there is two types of creditor given: creditors for goods, creditor for expenses. We are not considering creditors for expenses right now. We will talk about creditor for goods only. Okay. Okay. So you can see the creditors opening balance is written on credit side and closing balance on the debit side. So creditors account in this question. By balance BD and there is closing balance. So two balance cd now opening and closing balances given uh opening balance is 21000 and closing balance is 90 19000 after that this is creditor for expenses different thing bills payable bills payable opening balance was 8700 and the closing balance is 11500 and there is a bill information here also. Bills payable issued. Yes. Yes, sir. So one more account. Bills payable account. Bills payable is also liability. So by sorry. by balance BD. Bills payable opening balance is 8,700 and closing balance is 11,500. Sunday data stock furniture fittings cash bills payable issued 20,800. So creditors account debit to bills payables by Creditors account. It is twenty thousand eight hundred. So total bill amount should be twenty nine thousand five hundred, but the actual balance is eleven thousand five hundred. It means we have paid the balance amount eighteen thousand. Yes. 
Yes. Opening balance was eight thousand seven hundred. Means this amount we have to pay. Okay. Again, uh, this amount is created during the year. So total amount this twenty nine thousand five hundred we have to pay. But in the last we are seeing that the actual balance is eleven thousand five hundred. It means this amount is already paid. Yes. Yes. Sir. And this is your balancing figure. Now this 20,800 we have issued to creditors. So we will write it in the creditors account to this table 20,800. Payment to sundry creditors is 31,000 so to cash. 31,000. After that Expenses paid, cash sale bills will be issued. Drawings, bad debts during the year as regards this. Okay, that's it. So, your credited purchase will be calculated by this 50,000 to 70,800 70,800 and here it will be by purchase this is credit purchase Forty nine thousand eight hundred. This is your credit purchase. Okay. In the same manner, you can calculate credit sale also by preparing debtors account. Let's say this is our debtor account. You have written this. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I mean, raising the information which is not required as per this account. As per this question, okay. The opening balance and closing balance is given for debtors. This thirty five thirty four thousand. So thirty five thousand and thirty four thousand. Now after debtors. Uh, There is only bad debts. Bad debts is 900. And cash received from debtors. Cash received is not there. Is possible. There is one information. Let me see. Okay, no problem. Okay, so purchase is given in the quotient. Uh, actually, we have calculated it forty nine thousand eight hundred. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me the formula of cost of goods sold? Okay, sir. Opening stock plus purchase. Opening less... stock is given in the portion. Opening stock. Yes, sir. Twenty-eight thousand. Purchase is also given. It is forty-nine thousand eight hundred. And direct expenses is not given in the portion. Yes, there is no direct expenses given. So leave the direct expenses and deduct 25,000 here. Now you will get 52,000 
800 as cost of goods sold. Now 52,800 into 25%. Can you calculate the amount? Yes. And this is your good house profit. So thirteen thousand two hundred. Now, total sale can be calculated or net sale, you can say, total sale or net sale. It is cost of goods sold plus gross profit. Cost of goods sold is 52,800 as gross profit is 13,200 is 66,000. This is your sales. Now, cash sale is given in the portion. So you can calculate credit sale by this. Credit sale equals to total sale, that is 66,000 minus cash sale, which is 15,000. So credit sale is 51,000. Now this credit sale will be written in debtor's account. 51,000 and all other items will be removed. There is no discount here. There is no sales account. There is no bills receivable, only cash. So total is 50, 86,000 here. From this 86,000, we will deduct 34,000, we will get 52. It is 51,100. This is your cash received from traders. Okay. Now, if we have to prepare trading and profit and loss, trading and profit and loss account. So we will prepare the format. First of all, there will be two opening a stock. Yes. Yes. Two opening a stock. Opening a stock is twenty eight thousand, and there is closing a stock also. It is twenty five thousand. So we will start preparing trading and profit and loss and balance sheet and by step by step uh, we will start solving and if any information is missing then we will calculate that okay by sales it is 66000 total sale we have calculated here total sales 66000 51000 is credit 15000 is cash so total 66000 now to purchase it is, it is 49800 so it is 91000 here 91000 and two gross profit so this is your trading account. Thirteen thousand two hundred. This thirteen thousand two hundred will go on the credit side. By gross profit, thirteen thousand two hundred. And on the debit side, there will be expenses. Now you can see creditors for expenses is given here. Yes, 1500 opening, 
closing is 1800 and we have already paid 6600 yes yes so 300 increased yes yes sir so you can say this 300 is incurred during this year that's why it is increased 300 expenses is still uh, is still not paid from this year and 6600 is paid so 6600 paid 300 not paid total expenses is 6009 yes yes okay so we will write it here to to expenses 6,900. Okay. Now the bad dates is 900 in the portion to bad dates 900 after that furniture and fitting are to be depreciated at 10% of the value in the beginning of the year furniture fitting is 10,000 so to depreciation on furniture and fittings one thousand that's it so we will calculate Balance profit here thirteen thousand two hundred thirteen thousand two hundred and it will be your net profit seven thousand eight hundred eight thousand eight hundred four thousand four hundred okay okay. Now this 4,400 will be added to capital of the owner. Yes? Yes. So to calculate capital, you have to prepare a statement of profit as the previous portion. Uh, the previous portion we have discussed in our previous class. Yes. yes. You remember how to calculate capital? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, by preparing a statement of affair. Mm, yes, sir. You write assets on the asset side and liabilities on the liability side. And then you calculate the difference and it is your capital. So in the same manner, you will calculate capital by using this information. Okay. Okay, sir. So this is your uh, conversion method. It is not complete yet. Okay. But I explained uh, most of the things here and you can understand the maximum part. But until we have solved a portion, you will not get the point 100%. Okay. okay. So try to practice some portion and if you have any problem, you can ask. Otherwise, you will not understand this because this is most confusing part in this chapter. Yes. So I have a question. Sir. Yes. It's, it's not from this chapter. It's So how do you find net sales when they only give you gross profit and COGS? COGS is not given in this portion. No, sir, no, sir. I'm just asking it up. It was okay. in previous no, year question. Okay. If cost of goods sold is given. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, it's six six lakh sixty thousand. Six lakh sixty thousand. Yes, sir. And gross profit is also given. Forty thousand. Forty thousand. 
Yes, sir. So net sales equals to cost of goods sold plus gross profit. That's it. Because if you remember the formula of cost of goods sold, there was two formula. One is opening stock plus purchase plus direct expenses minus closing stock. And the second was net sales minus gross profit. So if net sale is kept here and gross profit is transferred to other side, it will become positive. So it will become COGS plus gross profit rather net sales equals to net sales. Okay. So it will be 6 lakh 60,000 plus 40,000. If it is in percentage form, let's say it is uh, how much percent is should I take just one minute. So let's say gross profit is 25% on sales, not cost on sales. Okay. okay. So in this case, you will write 6,60,000 into 25 divided by uh, 100 minus 25. Okay. When cost of goods sold is given and gross profit is on sales, then we use this formula. It is cost of goods sold into rate divided by 100 minus rate. So it will become 6,60,000 into 25 divided by 75. So it will be 2,20,000 profit. The net sale will be 6,60,000 plus 2,20,000. It will become 8,80,000. Okay, so if the amount is given, you just add the amount with the cost of goods sold. But if percentage form is given, then you have to change the solution. Okay. Okay, do you have any other question? So, yes, sir. If they give operating profit and operating expenses, how do you find gross profit, sir? Okay, operating profit and Operating profit and operating expenses. Okay. So what is the formula for operating profit? Operating profit equals to gross profit minus other operating expenses. Okay. So okay. if operating profit is given and other operating expenses is given, you can easily calculate gross profit. You will bring this item on the left side. You will add operating profit plus other operating expenses. You will get the gross profit. Okay. So everything here is on the uh, on the basis of certain formula. If you remember the formula, then it will be easy for you to remember the concept. Okay. 